Dolphins are the scariest thing on the planet. What? Dude, blow up bigger. You're crazy. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm afraid it's gonna blow up and all the air's gonna go in my lungs. <laughs> You're a fucking pussy. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm scared to go past this. Are you for real? Yes. Brody. Oh fuck. <laughs> Merry Christmas and happy St. Patty's Day. Get it. You got it cornered. Oh god. There you go. <laughs> I can't do it now that you're fucking filming me, dude. Jeez. I know. You suck. Patty's day. All right, today's St. Patty's Day. We're, We're getting fucked red. up. <laughs> We're both wearing red. Going to get drunk. No. I'm going to the gym, and that's probably going to be the extent of it. We're fucking losers, dude. We are. I thought of that the other day. I was like, <laughs> I'm friends with... Just fucking losers. We're just, <laughs> just kidding, dude. We're just old men. We are. Old I have like men. five friends that I see once every week or two. I go to work and I watch my programs. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm old. Uh. It's another year. Alright, I'm off to get my hair cut. And then to the gym after that, and then I'm not too sure what the rest of the night's gonna bring. I was just messing around back there. It doesn't bother me one bit that I'm not getting drunk tonight. I'm not saying I'm better than anyone because I'm going to the gym and not getting fucking drunk at the bar. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I've had that experience, and that's just, I just don't want to anymore. Alright, we're going to see the movie The Belko Experiment. No, oh, Belkin. Belkin? Belko. Belko. Uh, it's probably gonna suck. No, I heard it's good. <laughs> it looks like the movie Saw to me. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, The Belko Experiment was. It was an alright movie. It was okay. I'll give it. 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5? 3 out of 5. I'd give it. Man, I know that idea's been done before, but I'd give it a four out of five. It had a couple good like cinematography shots and cool ideas, and uh, it incited rage in me like more than any movie has in a long time. I was in the theater pissed. I was like so mad. I was like at the edge of my seat, mad. So it got that out of me. So I mean, I'm gonna give it a four. Four out of five. Four out of nineteen stars. <laughs> 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 three uh, I give it three out of five. Two point eight out of five. Two point eight? Two point eight out of five. Wow, you must not have liked it at all. No, I did. That's but, almost a fifty percent. But there's like the Godfather, which is a five, and then there's the Belco experiment. Yeah, but <laughs> you know what I'm what saying? Movies that can get a rise out of me, I'll give them like, you know, like a four or something. You know. Yeah. I Belco experiment was a good movie. Alright, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm not hungover. I think I'm gonna go to the gym and get like a quick five mile run in.
All right, I'm off to get some coffee. Everyone else in the apartment is sleeping. I am incapable of sleeping in late, um, especially on my days off. It's just like admitting defeat, and I can't, I can't do it, and I won't do it. Okay, I want to talk about that real quick. Now, I'm not saying that Sean and Brody are lazy in any way for sleeping in on their day off. I'm just saying for me personally, if I sleep in, then I just feel like I might as well be at work wasting time. One thing I've noticed since I started investing real time into making these vlogs, into doing something of actual substance, something that means something to me, is that time is precious. And if I don't utilize it to the best of my ability, then things just start becoming stagnant and depression kicks in. Now I know this sounds cheesy, but there's a quote out there that says something along the lines of, you can't steer a parked car. Until you can make a decision on which way to turn or what route to take, you have to be moving first. And for me, that means being productive at all times, to constantly be moving forward. And I know there's people who would disagree with this to a certain extent and say, you gotta slow down once in a while and take a look at things. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. And I completely agree, but that doesn't apply to me yet. That only applies to people who have gotten to where they want to be in life. If you're running a race and you stop to check out the birds or to wave at your mom in the stands, then in no time, everyone is ahead of you. And of course, you probably say, well, life shouldn't be considered a race. And that's where I say you're wrong. Because the only thing standing in the way of the life that you have and the life that you want is you. And if you want something that's a little more extravagant than the life-sucking nine-to-five job and, and that whole normality of things, then you gotta work a little harder to get it. You have to hustle or race. Now, I'm not trying to get too crazy. I'm not trying to go too deep into things. I'm just saying, I really do believe life is a race and you have to be willing to fucking compete, man. You gotta be willing to train for that shit. You have to be willing to make some sacrifices. You gotta be willing to work your ass off. You know who I miss? Fucking Cody, where's he been? She's in India, I texted him. Where you at, Cody? <laughs> That's it.